Good morning. Welcome to Nourish My Soul. The Israeli First Filipino Church of the Nazarene. It's February 9, 2020. It's Tuesday. Let's start with the reading of the word. Our word for this morning is Exodus 3, verses 1 to 15. Meanwhile, Moses was shepherding the flock of his father-in-law Jethro, the priest of Midian. He led the flock to the far side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain god. I'm sorry, the mountain of God. Then the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire within a bush. As Moses looked, he saw that the bush was on fire but was not consumed. So Moses thought, I must go over and look at this remarkable sight. Why isn't the bush burning up? When the Lord saw that he had gone over to look, God called out to him from the bush, Moses, Moses, here I am, he answered. Do not come closer, he said. Remove the sandals from your feet, for the place where you are standing is holy ground. Then he continued, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Moses hid his face because he was afraid to look at God. Then the Lord said, I have observed the misery of my people in Egypt and have heard them crying out because of their oppressors. I know about their sufferings and I have come down to rescue them from the power of the Egyptians and to bring them from the land to a good and spacious land, a land flowing with milk and honey. The territory of the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Perizzites, Hevites, and Jebusites. So because the Israelites cry for help has come to me, and I have also seen the way the Egyptians are oppressing them. Therefore, go. I am sending you to Pharaoh so that you may lead my people, the Israelites out of Egypt. But Moses asked God, who am I that I, 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 I should go to Pharaoh and that I should bring the Israelites out of Egypt? He answered, I will certainly be with you and this will be the sign to you that I'm bringing and I am the one who sent you. When you bring the people out of Egypt, you will all worship. You will all worship God at this mountain. Then Moses asked God, if I go to the Israelites and say to them, the God of your ancestors has, has sent me to you, and they ask me, what is his name? What should I tell them? God replied to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you are to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. God also said to Moses, say this to the Israelites. The Lord, the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever. This is how I'm, I am to be remembered in every generation. For years, I carried around an uh, emotional backpack filled with insecurity and lagged around the fear that I am not enough. But I'm not alone. Just flip over to Exodus 3. The verses that uh, we read 
And we'll see a leader who was overwhelmed with his calling and the terror that he might not be the right man for the job. That he might totally mess it up. You can see in just a few verses, God lays out his plan for Moses' life. He would lead God's people to freedom. And Moses protested, calling with a litany of excuses. Who am I? How can I lead? They, they won't believe me. I, 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 I'm not a good speaker. Send someone else. I'm not good enough. I, I, I'm not equipped. I'm not even qualified. I'm not gifted. There are so many others better than me. Oh, Moses. I get you. I surely do. It's like describing myself. Then he's met this, uh, this powerful words. I am who I am. Say this to the people of Israel. I am has sent me to you. I am the one who is sovereign. I am the one who is all-knowing. I am the one who is powerful. I am the one who is so much bigger than any teeny tiny box who might try to fit me in. You tell them, I am chose you, called you, sent you. Let me grab you by the shoulders today and ask you a very important question. Do you believe God is sovereign? Do you think He knows exactly what He is doing? Even though you feel like you're not equipped, not qualified, and not gifted enough, do you not believe that God knew exactly what he was doing when he chose you? Even though you worry you might mess this whole parenting or family thing up, or do you not believe that God knew exactly who your family needed? Do, do you not believe that God knew the exact parent your children would need? Even though you may struggle with feeling like you're simply not enough, do you believe God is sovereign? Do, do, you, do you believe that the great I am is more than enough? Then... You can walk with your head held high because I want to tell you that your name is enough. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord God, for encouraging us this morning. Thank you that uh, we're learning a lot from the life of Moses. Thank you, Lord God, that you are our mouthpiece. Thank you, Lord God, even, even though we, we stutter, even though we're not enough, we're not good enough, or others are better than us. But it is not about us. It's all about you. It's about the obedience of our heart. Thank you for this Tuesday morning. We pray, Lord God, for those people who are uh, affected of COVID-19. We pray for complete healing for these people, Lord God. We pray for those people who are suffering from anxiety and depression. We pray, Lord God, that uh, the pandemic would end uh, as soon as possible. We pray, Lord God, for our church, Los Angeles First Filipino Church of the Nazarene, all of the Nazarene churches, all of the other churches, all of the people who are serving you that you're being that you that you are using for 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 the 
propagation of your gospel, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for the service. Thank you, Lord God, for the opportunity to serve you. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. If you are listening and watching us right now, I'd like to give you an opportunity to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Come pray with me. Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. I ask for your forgiveness. I am a sinner, but I believe that you died upon the cross for me. That you shed your precious blood for the forgiveness of my sins. I accept you now as my Savior, my Lord, my God, my friend. Come into my heart and set me free from my sin. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen and amen. This is uh, your Nourish My Soul, an online devotion. Hope uh, something like this will help you uh, mature more in your spiritual walk with God. Thank you. God bless you. Bye.